Hey, Jason. Yes, that's my name. Speak to me. Well, speak to the camera. What would you like to know? <laughs> Good morning, this is Drew, and today we are in Chester, New Jersey, and we are about to create a 30-foot-long pondless waterfall with lighting, with, uh, what else are we doing? Now the first thing we have to do when we're building upon this waterfall is install our reservoir. That's going to hold the water that it takes to make the system actually function. We'll be recirculating from the bottom of the slope here. That's where we're going to install our aqua blocks, our pump vault, our pump is housed in there. And then we can send that water right up to the top corner where gravity takes over and it cascades back down into the reservoir completing the circuit. We got all the boys here today. We're ready to get rocking and rolling, get this reservoir installed. Then we can start creating a natural looking water feature. Basin's uh, coming together very well here. So Brennan will tell you what we did. Okay, so we originally excavated our hole for the aqua blocks to be able to fit in. We measured to check the dimensions to make sure we could fit 10 large aqua blocks in this one, as well as the vault and the vault extension. And so we put all the blocks in there, put them tight, and now we're gonna tuck the underlayment and liner over the blocks. So that way we can backfill in the sides to lock the blocks in so we can start going on the waterfall. Rock placement is kind of crucial when it comes to building a natural looking waterfall. So what we need to focus on is, is the placement and selection of rocks and kind of have the vision and know with all of how that water is going to be flowing over the top of these rocks. So setting the first couple ones is going to be crucial. This is going to be the final spillway into the basin here. So what Bully's doing, he's using that level just to make sure that as the water builds up and pulls behind it, it's gonna be coming over the face of this nice and level, nice and even, at the same thickness all the way across that. We're gonna frame it out on this side. We've also got another rock just on the other side of Bowley. And then we're gonna build up kind of backwards, up that way into a pooling area, and then snake this stream and waterfall up to right behind where the machine is sitting. Now, not that this is a make or break stone, but this is the second rock that we're placing here. So we've already moved it to twice, two times. We had it over there, had it over there. So we're just trying to find the right spot to kind of sit beside that first rock he put there, that spillway stone. And this is framing it in and behind it, we'll do some further stone work and build up behind it, layering the rocks as we go up. But what this is gonna do is help force the water behind it to come over the front of that rock.
I am making what we call a bib liner here to make sure that the water runs over from the spillway that we're gonna place here and over this rock as well. So basically, in order to do this, we foam up the area in a nice, neat fashion, and then we use either a scrap piece of liner or our geotextile underlayment as a uh, barrier to keep the water going over it so it goes over the rock to make the waterfall look more impressive. Mm. Geotextile, tell me more about this. So this is our unwoven geotextile fabric that we use to both protect the liner, both under it and over it when we're setting big or sharp rocks. It comes in a 15 wide by 300 foot large roll and we cut it to the size that we need. It doesn't come in smaller rolls? It also comes in a five foot wide and seven and a half foot wide roll as well. Wow, you know so much. Yeah, that stuff's crap. Crap. That's why I didn't mention it. Hey Jason. Yes, that's my name. Speak to me. Well, speak to the camera. What would you like to know? <laughs> well, Batman, I, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I am Pond Man. I'm curious what you think of the, uh... It's the best one yet. Well, you can just relax. No, it is. Just, Everyone just, is the best just one Just yet. relax. I know it's a one-of-a-kind custom creation, but it is. I understand that. And if you'd like to see more, follow us on our YouTube channel. Right? It's Isn't that free. What we're supposed to say? Push the button. So the bottom here of the basin is just about wrapped up. All of the edge work around the left side, along the front edge, and then over here to the back side of the vault is complete. We have to also install an autofill which is connected to the customer's irrigation system. So I'm gonna show you how that goes in in just a second here. We've also installed our three inch pipe from the back side of the vault. It goes up underneath these rocks and over to where Kevin is. A lot, probably about half of this waterfall is now complete with all of the stonework. Just behind that last spillway stone there, the guys are working on building a nice pooling area. It's gonna be about a five by five pooling area, about four to six inches of water. And that body of water, as that wells up in that pool, is gonna give the volume of water to come rushing over the face of this one spillway stone here. So Kevin and I are working on installing this autofill valve. And what this will do, it's connected through a half inch fitting on the backside to a zone on his irrigation system. So what this will do is controlled by this float mechanism, this opens and close, closes the valve at the end of the, or it open. Anyway, it keeps it topped off. <laughs> no, so what we're doing here, we've got our half inch line run from the valve that's underneath an irrigation box that the customers irrigation company left for us. So we ran this pipe into the backside of our vault. What we're doing now is converting from a barb fitting to a slip fitting using a schedule 40 half inch PVC pipe. Then we're gonna go down to a 90. And then the 90 is gonna drop down to where we set our autofill because we don't want this thing constantly filling when the pump is turned on. So we're gonna set it down at about halfway down in the vault. This way, if we set it up way high, it's gonna constantly be calling for water when the pump is on because it draws the water in this vault so much lower to get the water up through the entire system and then back down to recirculate. So we're setting it about halfway down, so it's only gonna be filling it when it gets past that halfway point. Okay, we've got the entire bottom of this basin just about finished. Edge work is done. We've got our autofill hooked up, plumbing hooked up. We've also got the ion gen probe in there underneath through conduit so nothing will damage any of those cables over to our outlets. All the electronics are hooked up over there. We've got our transformer and main line up to the first and second lighting hubs. We will continue to work up that 
with the lighting once the final section of the waterfalls is complete. Down on the bottom here, we just have to gravel in. We're gonna use a larger gravel, uh, not this one inch here, because we don't wanna clog up any of these holes. We need that water to freely flow back into these aqua blocks so it gets back to the pump. So we're gonna come back with a one to three inch, not this three quarter to one inch. And then some of these spillways, we're gonna fill with some nice stacked stonework. It'll be a nice clean weir for that water to come rushing over the front of it. When it's lit up, it also has a very cool aesthetic appearance. So we're gonna work on that part and that part with stacked stones. And then mixed in through here, we're gonna use that larger gravel all the way up through to that top spot. So we are more than 50% finished with this stream and waterfall. So these guys are rocking and rolling. Edge work is done. So we are in really, really good shape to have this thing finished in one more day. Probably 95% of the rock work is done. This morning, Jason and Bowley are just gonna finish up by touching up the top section of this waterfall. We've gotta add quite a bit of soil up here just to kind of bring the berm out so it gives it that more natural feel. We don't want it just dropping off the edge of where the spillway is. So this will all get filled with dirt over here. Same on that side. Once that's all finished, we're looking at final rinse down. Fill this up, fire it up, and see what the customers think.